Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a, a painting on the Stratford watercolour pad. It's 100% cotton. It has a really fine grain and it's £140. We're going to play around with some salt today. Okay, so I'm going to start by wetting the paper. Now you notice I've pinned the paper down with some masking tape. And this paper is really quite good at staying flat. It's a really smooth surface. Now I'm going to use some granulating colours just because I love granulating colours. I think they're marvellous. Look at those. Look how they're travelling, they're absolutely marvellous. But the paper is what's really carrying it. Love this. Look at those. That really fine grain is helping to carry. All that paint. Yes, look at these. So these are the Shaminka that we're really going to test this paper. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit more. Colouring. Now I want to use salt on this, so the more I put on, the better this will be. Okay, so I'm just going to keep applying. Some of these colours are amazing on this paper. It's really bringing those colours to life. Now I'm just going to add some salt. Now remember, if you add salt, you create a saline effect in the paper. So just remember what it is you're trying to, to achieve your detail could go missing every time you wet the paper. So I've mixed sea salt and table salt. Now I'm going to go away and leave that to dry. Before I continue with this one, I just want to draw your attention to the colour. Look at the colour. The colour is stayed almost identical to what we put on. So I'm just going to show you the colours that we originally put on here. Let's have a bit of the... You see, they haven't migrated. They haven't faded too much either. There's some of the carmine. And some of the burnt sienna. Can you see, even as wet, they've stayed almost identical to their colour. That's absolutely fabulous. Another bonus. I'm going to put the next bit on fast forward so that we can move along quickly. I really love how this background has actually turned out with that salt. It's, it's really nice and it's kept its colour really well. So I'm going to... Take some more granulating colours. And this is our Shaminkas.
Okay, just a bit of green next. I'm going to change my brush to a rigger. And put in some of the branches. Trying to keep this as simple as possible. So, so far, we have a little wood. Okay, I'm just going to change up my brush um, and put a little bit of foliage in. Not too much, I don't want to lose all that background. Seems it came out quite as well as it did. I'm going to call it a day there on the foliage there. Stick with this brush. Again, I don't want to cover everything that the salt's actually done for me. Just want to take a little bit away. Let's use some of the lighter colours, like the blue. A little bit of violet there such a nice color and as this paper is really true to the colors it's literally staying the color that i put out which is marvelous Let's try something a little bit darker.
Okay, we're not quite dry. So I'm just gonna try something. I'm just going to let that dry off just a little bit. Okay, I say this is a multimedia paper, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Use another media. Okay, I'm going to try some ink here. I'm hoping this is dry. Not entirely convinced I have got this dry. No, I haven't. So I'm going to move down. Yeah, I think this is still a little bit too wet. So here goes with the dip pen, see how it does with this. Taking it all in its stride, I'm really happy with this paper, really happy. Up there, let's give it some whiskers. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Just a little bit on 
on the L. As papers go, I've got to say I'm really impressed with this paper. I love the fact that the, the grain is so smooth and I can use it if I wanted to, to do portraits, which it would take very well, and botanicals. I think they'd be great on here. This paper has so many great things going for it, especially the, with the eco sustainability and the fact that it's vegan. Everything is going in its favour. And look. It dries perfectly flat. Another great additive. It dries completely flat. I know I had this taped down, but even in my other samples, literally everything has dried flat without being taped down, without being stapled. So it's one of its best aspects. I'd like to show you what else these papers can do. The um, Stratford Fine Grain, the Coarse Grain and the Student um, Pad. I'm going to be doing work with all of those. So join me and see what they can do.